sweeping victory. Yeah. He is a seismic force in American history. Uh, to see how bad the shellacking is. This is a shellacking uh, for the Democrats tonight. Mm, Trump's on track to win 312 electoral votes, as we believe Arizona and Nevada will move red after their counts. Liberals woke up this morning confused. How could a dictator win the popular vote and take the Senate and probably the House? The answer is simple. They lied to you. But Trump listened to you. They told you the border was secure, the economy was humming, and Joe Biden was an Olympic athlete, even though he couldn't stop falling down and forgetting his own name. If you had a problem with that, they censored you. And when they started losing, they called you fascist garbage who just needed a smack in the ass. The last four years, we witnessed the Democrats go crazy. They loaded illegals into airplanes and flew them here. They emptied jails, made up genders, handed out free sex changes, and printed money like Zimbabwe. We all watched it happen. We didn't like it. Trump listened, said, I hear you, I get it, I'll fix it. It's not that complicated. We kept the faith in the face of last minute hoaxes. Remember, Kamala was gonna win Iowa. A comedian made a joke about Puerto Rico. Oh my God, it's over. Trump's tariffs are gonna wreck the economy. Really? Because the market today had its best day in two years. Trump did better with Puerto Ricans and beat her by 13 in Iowa. The American people don't like being lied to. Trump even did better with women than Kamala did with men. Imagine that. Wives didn't have to lie to their husbands. The so-called racist dictator shattered records with blacks, Hispanics, Jews, and college students. His margin in Springfield, Ohio, where they're definitely not eating the pets, went up. Trump, Mr. Muslim ban, won Muslims in Dearborn, Michigan. The guy they said hated Hispanics won Miami-Dade County. That's the first time a Republican pulled that off since Reagan. And the funniest part of the election, and we've had some moments, was that Biden would have done better than Harris if he hadn't gotten whacked. So you asked, are there any places that the vice president is overperforming Joe Biden in 2020? So we can show you that as well. We just bring that out here. Harris over